Good afternoon, ACS community. As promised, our Health and Safety Committee met last week and examined our COVID-19 protocols and our virtual school provisions in light of the current reality. Fortunately, cases have dropped dramatically, and like many schools around the world, we find ourselves in the happy position to be able to remove a few of our safeguards without significantly increasing our risk. Here are some of the changes that you will start to see. We will no longer require vaccinations or vaccination equivalents for campus entry. We will begin removing plexiglass from the interiors of classroom to allow for greater academic collaboration. We will carefully alter our procedures surrounding COVID-19 exposures so that students miss less class. Our school doctor will communicate the details of these procedures separately. While making these changes, we want to re-emphasize the diligent use of high efficiency masks. These are still our very best defense against the spread of COVID-19. In addition to changes in health and safety, we will also shift the emphasis of our academic programs. We are an in-person school and we know our community values the unique benefits that we can offer students in person over and above what is possible online. Our teachers, students, and parents made heroic efforts to make sure that ACS provided high quality online education during the pandemic. At this point, however, maintaining a high quality online program is com compromising what our teachers and students can do in the classroom. We can increase educational quality for most of our students by giving preference to the in-person modality. For the time being, we will continue to offer a virtual option for students whose families deem on-campus attendance to be high risk for their particular situation. For those utilizing the online option, students can still expect to be able to watch what's happening in the classroom. They should also expect to have access to assignments and information through our online platforms. Online students should not, however, expect interactivity with their teachers and peers during class. Students attending in person should expect more interactivity, more collaboration, and more of what makes in-person education great. Consequently, we encourage all students to return to campus. The in-person experience will no longer just be an equivalent experience, it will be better. Students, it is important to us that you are here. As with every announcement in the times of COVID-19, these changes are contingent, contingent upon the state of the pandemic. New cases or a new variant might force us to reintroduce certain safety measures. But for now, I hope you join me in celebrating the possibilities that these changes open for our students and our community. Finally, I would like to turn to the sobering international topic that's dominating the news, namely the crisis in Ukraine, with its attendant loss of life and destruction. Last week, I was able to hear from leaders of schools just like ours in Kyiv, Minsk, and Moscow. All three schools have canceled classes and evacuated their foreign faculty to other countries. As they attempt to get virtual school up and running from remote locations, their thoughts are constantly with their staff and students who remain in these cities. PSI School in Kyiv is much like our own. They have 550 students and 160 staff with 52 nationalities represented. In the midst of the terrible destruction around them, they've created a website to inform communities like ours. You can find the link in my message. In weeks like, like this, we, are, we truly appreciate the safety and security that we have. Have a great week ahead.